I just need a season two. I just need a season two. And I already know, I usually say, yo, what's up? But this episode of Atlanta, this season finale, which is done so right. Like, it was done very well. I have to admit, like, this this was one of the episodes to where I, I, I need season two of this show. This show, I need... I need every episode of this show on a DVD box set. Like, I just need... I need every episode of this show, fam. Like, it is just too good to just end me off like that. I need more Atlanta. I need more of Childish Gambino. I need more of Paperboy. I just need more. Like, this series... This was a very unique series. It was a very different series. And it didn't stay in the norm. And that's what I loved about this. And the way it ended, oh my god, it was just really good. It was really, it was what I honestly was hoping for was a simple ending. Like, most of these shows, they try to leave you on cliffhanger. But if the show literally didn't get a second season, and they gotta give it a second season. Come on, y'all got too much of a fan base now. If they literally did not give it a second season, though, and they ended it off like that, I would be okay with it. Because... It was such a beautiful way to end it, and it like people are gonna say, "Oh, it wasn't all that." I I have to disagree because it was done simple, simple and clean, and that's just how it needed to be. And it basically the beginning of the episode is Earn getting trying to find his bomber jacket, and he goes from a strip club to just about where a crime scene is happening. Eventually, he finds his jacket. And he sees that it was basically taken by their Uber driver, who was also a criminal drug dealer. And, um, you know, him and Paperboy and Darius are just like, oh, shit, we kind of fucked up. And Earn, Earn is honestly like, I need the jacket. And mainly because it has his key to, I'm going to explain what the key is to later. Because the key is actually very important and it's very done at the end. So after getting the key to the place, he, um, not even getting the key. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. After pretty much finding the jacket was on a criminal, he just kind of quits. And he just kind of in depression, and he's like, oh, I just fucked up. And I believe one of the funniest moments that let's go back in the episode was when he was in the strip club, and this stripper, she's basically asking him to describe the stripper that he was with last night. And she was like, do you mean big titty or little titty? And he's like, I don't know the titty ratio in, the, in this strip club. I just know that one of them got my jacket. Like, he could describe how she looks. He's like, look, I don't know the titty ratio from this. I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to get my jacket. And it's like the whole time he tried to get a jacket, he had to finesse his way. And this stripper finessed him good because she made him basically give her his number. I mean, give she gave him her number so he'll call anytime her boy has a video. And, you know, just in case you want to dance and drop it like it's hot on the video. I mean, she was a good looking stripper. I, would, I wouldn't mind dropping a few dollars there. But, you know, <laughs> underage. But, overall, this was done so well. Like, after that episode ended, he had gotten a pretty much a large amount of money from Paperboy. And he had, instead of going to spend it all in one place, he actually went to go visit Vanessa and his daughter. And he's basically, you know, cooking them dinner. And he's just chilling with Vanessa. It's like a really good scene. It's simple and done right. My, another really funny moment, which I keep for, Why do I do this? Like, I go out of place with these reviews. Is when it's him. And paper, like he's looking at all the snaps and all the shit that he had from, um, you know, going out with Paperboy and all of them. And he's like, oh shit, we did some crazy shit. Like... He, it's like the whole scene was done in Snapchat filter, and it was just hilarious how how it was done. It was it was done right. It was done right. Just know that. And getting close to the finale, we hear this really good song, and I don't know what the outro song is. I'm sorry, guys, if you guys ask for the outro song, I'm probably not gonna know. But it was one of the like it's just a simple and great ass song done, and it's done so well, and it's like. It just fits the moment. It fits the moment where he's just basically walking off. He's just going into this, um, this, I forgot what they call it. It's like a storage space. And he basically gets the key. He opens it up. And he just goes to sleep. And it's done well. It's done simple. It's done and gets straight to the point. It makes us really wonder, well, this is Aaron's life. 
and it's like he's closing one lot to get to another. And we see his struggle throughout the seasons. Um, me and Earth Eagle GT are going to pretty much do a roundup review, so please go check him out. I'm going to link his channel in the um, description. And it's it's honestly beautiful. like Because you would expect something to go right in Earth's life. But he's happy with the simple thing that has happened, like how much he's pretty much grown, how he's pretty much gotten his way back into his family's life. Well, more importantly, in the um, Paperboy's life, how they had such an impact on hip hop, how they pretty much went through hell and back when they got in jail in the first episode. Everybody's gonna remember the first damn episode, bro. Like, it was just so well done, and. I gotta say, like, we need season two. Like, there's so many things we need to see in season two. And, I don't know, maybe I'll talk to someone like Earth Eagle GT and all of them about it. But overall, I have to say, this was a phenomenal season finale. Now we just gotta wait for everything else to have their season finale so I can take a break. But, very beautiful very different this show is very unique and i just get if you haven't seen the episode you have all 10 episodes of the first season to watch sit down and binge watch that shit because that shit was this shit was honestly fire like it was fire i gotta admit this shit was lit as hell i'm not gonna lie to you this was one of the best things to come out of fx and i mainly only watched it for donald glover and his performance fucking amazing every actor and actress in this show fucking nailed their performances and the thing is this isn't just like an ordinary it's a smart comedy and nobody like as much as people call it a dramedy no it isn't yeah there's drama in it but to be honest it's more of a smart comedy it is done well it is done to make you think a lot of the humor isn't stupid or toilet humor it is done to make you wonder what's going on in this certain type of society and I just have to say it's well done and that's about it guys I can't really praise this so much because hey, it's coming on. We're, we're rounding up to seven minutes I'm trying to reach that 10 minute mark just so I don't know videos last longer than 10 minutes and people actually watch them but overall I am happy with what I saw today and yeah if you guys like this video please hit me with a like don't get subscribed for more Atlanta content in hoping for a season two, please. FX, you gotta do it, bro. Like seriously, like this this series needs a season two. And not just that. Don't forget to comment down below on your thoughts of the season. This was an amazing episode. Very great music choices. That's what I like about this show. The very good music choices, especially when they're, what they were playing in the beginning. Dear God, you guys. It just knows how to get you hyped, and it's it's a good show. It's a good show. That's all I gotta say. I'll see you guys.